Hello, everyone. Super excited. We have this week Trina, who is our guest skincare expert. She knows all things beauty products, devices, all things skincare, and she is going to give you guys some great airplane tips today. I, for one, am a person that it is really important to me, um, my skincare, because I don't really wear a lot of makeup. So that is like the number one thing I do is try to really take care of my skin so I don't have to wear more makeup. Trina, do you want to introduce yourself and, and tell everybody a little bit about yourself and how you know Salt and Wind? Absolutely. Hi, everyone. I'm Trina from Beauty Beyond 40 on YouTube. I have a channel where I talk mostly about beauty devices and skincare, and I love to travel. So this is a topic that I'm very passionate about. And I've traveled with Salt and Wind a couple times into Mexico. I'm really excited to be here to share all my tips. Awesome. Yeah, we had you in Valle and also in Oaxaca and Mexico City soon. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to go to Mexico City. It's going to be great. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're going to get right to it. This is a quick live. We're going to try to keep this to about 15 <laughs> minutes or less. Um, so we want to know what are all your best skincare tips for on the plane? It's such a great question. I would say the number one tip I have is around skincare do's and don'ts. And I always say, don't do your skincare on the plane you should do your skincare before the plane and after the plane. Because if you get on the plane and you do a sheet mask, like you see a lot of people doing, it's really trendy on social, it's gonna actually dry out your skin because you put on this sheet mask and then it's looking for water because water attracts water, the airplane's really dry. So it's gonna pull out water from your skin. So I recommend not doing that. If you wanna do a sheet mask before the plane or after the plane, like when you get to your destination, that would be great. But while you're on the plane, I recommend if you really need to put something on your skin, I recommend to do like a face oil because that's going to really seal in the moisture better. So I have a Derma E that's a drugstore price point. It's a lovely oil. And then I have a True Botanicals. It's a little bit pricier oil. And then another brand I love is Osea. These are my three top oils that I've been using for travel. And they also smell amazing. So if you get any like weird smell on the plane, you can <laughs> pop on some oil, put it on your nose or your fingers. I finger love that. And, and, you know, give it, give a, a sniff. It really, really helps me. <laughs> you know, I used to be one of those people that thought because I had that like combination skin and my skin would get oily that I shouldn't use oil. And it was like, I found quite the opposite. Now I use oil so much and I love it. Um, and I haven't tried the, the last brand that you've shown. I've seen it ever and I haven't tried it. So I'll have to give that one a try. Yeah, it's really great. They have really nice products. Skipping ahead, I just thought of this. I, I know I have a list prepared, but I was just talking about like touching your face with, yeah. you know, putting an oil on. It's so important that your hands are clean before you do that. And planes can be really germy and dirty. So I always pack a hand sanitizer. And I love this one from Yensa because it's a spray. So you can spray your hands, you can spray your tray table, you can spray your seat spray your makeup brushes. You can spray anywhere you need to, to keep things really sanitized. And it's such a great thing to have when you're traveling. I love this I one. Love that. I've heard of Yensa. I love this brand. Yeah, that's a great brand. I, um, one of the things I love is like, I have a friend who would always sanitize their area when they got on the plane before the pandemic. And I never <laughs> thought to do that. And now I'm like, can you imagine like not doing that anymore because of all the germs? And, you know, traveling so frequently and, you know, you know, they're really not getting in there and cleaning every little last detail of that plane whenever you're traveling on it. And who knows who was sitting there before you. So, yeah, always it's good to be prepared with the sanitizer. Absolutely. The next tip that I have, I actually posted about this during the pandemic and it got a million views. It went super viral. It's these blemish controlling face shields that you wear underneath your mask. So like, I know when I'm flying, I'm still wearing my mask and some airports still require you to wear a mask. I know there's different rules around the world right now, but it's so nice to have this. It's like a hydrating and protecting shield that you could put, like you wear kind of like a, like a chin strap, you like put it around your ears and then your whole yeah. lower face is protected before you put the mask on. And sometimes you're sitting in the airport, the terminal, you know, your Uber or whatever, and you're wearing a mask. And this has just saved me on longer flights because I was getting tons of mask knee and just breaking yeah. out. And I love this. And they were totally sold out. Like my post went viral, had a million views. 
and you couldn't get it. You can get these on Amazon now. So I would say That's stock awesome. up if, you, if you're acne prone or you want to just, you know, have better looking skin while you're traveling. I think we have a link for that, don't we? That for afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And all by this. the way, yeah, we have a lot of links for you. Some discount mm-hmm. codes, from Trina's, yeah. um, some, you know, things you can only get through her. So check the links down below. If you're watching this video, not live, if you're watching it live, just wait till after we finish and I'll post all those links just below the video. Um, get some great tips here. All right. What's the next tip? The next tip is to make sure you hydrate. I, I think everybody knows this, but I don't think they give you enough water on the plane. Like, you know, regardless of where you're sitting on the plane, if it's business or economy, I feel like they give you these little bottles of water and it's never enough. So I recommend bringing your own water bottle and filling it up. I like this one from BKR. It's the glass bottle that's got like the silicone soft wrap. Or I also love the ones from Swell because they're, they keep your water really cold. So I've been trying to do this more and more instead of going in and buying that like $9 water (laughs) from the, you know, from the gift shop at the airport. I like to bring one of these and fill it up. Yeah, um, exactly. And then you're, you have plenty of water and you can drink it throughout your flight. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That's so important. And I also love to bring hand cream and lip balm, especially because I'm putting on that hand sanitizer a lot. My absolute favorite forever and ever, ever is this hand cream from Neutrogena. It's just their standard fragrance-free glycerin-based hand cream. And I've been using this since I lived in Michigan when my hands would crack from the cold winters. And it's just such an amazing hand cream and you can put it on your lips if you need to, anywhere on your face, your elbows, and just a little goes a long way. And it's like $5. This stuff is so amazing. So I never am without this when I'm traveling, especially. And then my favorite lip balm is this one from Lord Jones that has CBD in it and it's oh, nice. shea butter. It doesn't have any of the, like the petroleum because that tends to make my lips kind of yeah. get dry. So that's oh. my favorite from Lord Jones and I don't have it. I, I, I left it um, at my boyfriend's. So I don't have it because I leave it in the nightstand, um, but I need to get another one because it's by far my favorite. It has like grapefruit essential oil and it's just really calming when your skin is really dry on the plane, like that CBD and the natural ingredients. It's just such a great lip balm. So that's my trifecta for hydrating water, hand cream, and lip balm. Like I can't do that. (laughs) So I have like a little tip that I always do is because my eyes always get really dry on the plane. Mm -hmm. I always wear and travel with a hat. And when I'm sleeping, I put the hat over my head. So those air vents that come down, don't go directly into my eyes. Um, and that, that like really, really helps me on those long haul flights or even just going to Mexico. It's like a six hour flight. My eyes just always get dried out. So that is one of the things I do. And then I also, I, I love your tip on, um, you know, the lip hydration and like certain things can really dry out your lips. You can become addicted to chapsticks, for example, in the winter. Um, one of the things I like to do is look for something with coconut oil in it. That particularly mm-hmm. helps me and as a person with really sensitive skin, I used to have eczema. I've since with functional medicine reversed that and I don't have any issues with it anymore. But for a long time, I couldn't use anything scented and um, I couldn't use anything that had like fragrance or anything not natural. So I referred to coconut oil. I know that it's probably a little bit heavy for your face, maybe not the best for your pores, um, but for my lips and my body, what do you think about that as like- And your hair. And your hair. And your hair, like- Coconut oil, I think is really great. I don't put it on my face because yeah, I think it can tend to break me out, but I love coconut oil as a base for lip. Like I'm so specific about my lips, you know, what, what I put on because I am addicted to anything lip related, like lip gloss, lip balm. I've always been. So I try to get products that aren't going to dry out my lips. So that's a really good tip. Would you also suggest wearing like a silk eye mask, like bringing your own to cover Yeah, your I mean, for wow. sure. Anything like comfort level, you know, that will definitely help with the, with the sleep. I just don't do well when my eyes are like, um, covered fully like that, but yeah. And then sometimes on the plane, they give you those on those long haul flights. So that's a definitely another one, but I just like, I love traveling with hats and, you know, Oaxaca obsessed hat obsessed. (laughs) I always have a hat, you know, you and I are both very obsessed with hats that goes (laughs) without saying that I always have at least one hat with me at all times. Yeah, (laughs) absolutely. (laughs) Which leads me to the next topic, which is perfect, SPF. SPF is so essential. And 
I have a few recommendations. Um, when you're flying during the day and you're, you know, if the windows are open on the plane, the UV is so much stronger because you're higher up. And so you really need to be careful to protect your skin. And one of my favorite SPFs is this Polish Choice SPF 50 because it's really, really hydrating. It's a youth extending daily hydrating fluid. I can't get enough of this stuff. I go through them so much. Um, that would be something you could apply before the plane. And then every couple hours, if you want to reapply, if you don't want to touch your face with your hands, you could yeah. get a brush. I have these brush on ones oh, like this. I like that. Is really nice. It's a really nice product. This one is more drugstore, so it's a little more affordable. It's only yeah. SPF 30. If you want a 50, Color Science makes a really nice one, but it's pretty pricey, but it's okay. really high quality. So I like to give different price points because not everybody wants to go yeah. out and spend $80 on a brush on sunscreen. Yeah. These are so just have put it over like your makeup when you get to your destination or when you're on the plane, you can just put it on without having to touch your face. Oh, that's so. so nice. I don't even like really use a foundation or anything. I usually just use a tinted SPF. Um, Perfect. You could then, so yeah. That's a good option. Okay. This is like the last tip I think you have for everyone is like the thing you're no most known for, right? Oh, yeah. For all, the, all the devices. And so if you guys head over to her YouTube, you will yeah. find all things, you know, skincare, but really devices. Trina is like the goddess of knowing everything about beauty devices. The number one question that I get asked about travel and devices is, can I bring my devices on the plane? And I always bring my devices on the plane. I have never had a problem. I've never been stopped traveling internationally everywhere I go. Um, you know, some people prefer to check them in the luggage, but I don't check luggage. I always bring them on the plane. So the one that Lucky. I, <laughs> well, you know, it can be a a bit tough sometimes but I I just can't like I've had so many oh, issues it's with, like, amazing to be able to travel that way. um so um I'd rather like shop when I get to the destination if possible anyway yeah. so my number one device that I love to travel with is my solo wave wand this is pretty popular on social but I've been using it for a couple years now and I love this thing look at how small it is it's like a pencil and it is a micro current wand so yeah. my, my tip about devices is you need to stay consistent and it, this helps you stay on your routine. You're not going to use this on the plane. I, I see some people using it on the plane, but I typically wouldn't use it on the plane. Um, I would use it, you know, before and after when I get to my destination, but this has red LED and microcurrent. So you can stay with your routine and you can just put it right in your makeup bag. And then what I love to travel with this, what I bring is my Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. Mm. This is Hyaluronic Acid Serum that conducts the microcurrent you don't ever yeah. want to use oil microcurrents it's not going to conduct so no oil you want to use a serum or a gel and so I don't need to bring a gel I can just bring a serum like this as part of my routine and then use my wand for like five minutes and press the serum in and I'm good to go and the other device that I love to travel with is my Foreo UFO 2 this is a power masking device and you can bring this like serum pouch and you snap it in and then you work it along your face and it presses the serum into your face. You also get LED, oh, you nice. get heat therapy, you get cryo. They have honey mask, they have a rose one, they have a hyaluronic acid H2O overdose. These are so great to use when you get to your destination. So say you check in your hotel, you can use this when your skin's feeling dry, wait until you get off the plane, get to your destination and then push all that wonderful serum into your skin, use the cooling cryo setting to depuff your face. This is just such a great device to travel with because it just helps you to get your skin back. It like helps you to reset your skin. Yeah. When you, and then you can use it throughout your trip. So these are my two favorites to travel with just to keep my skin looking youthful and hydrated. Yeah. Awesome. And I have, um, the bear, I love it. Um, and you know, the problem is like you said, you need to stay consistent to see results. I did actually use it for 30 days straight when I like first got it. And wow, I really saw a huge difference in, you know, just my eyes. I have what you call hood eyes, like where they just kind of sit down. Um, and it was really, really helpful. So thank you for the encouragement of getting back to that regimen. I need to be consistent with that and just like kind of do that in the mornings again. <laughs> yeah, I, I brought my frail bear on a trip to Miami like a year or so ago, and I stayed consistent with it every day. And it's, it, it makes a huge difference if you stay consistent. So if you have any beauty device questions, anyone who's watching 
head over to my YouTube or message me and ask me. I, I have like a quiz. I have so much info. It's what I'm truly passionate about. I love devices as alternatives to Botox and filler. So if that's something you're interested in, I have so much content. I have a question for you about devices. Um, have you ever been traveling through, have you been to like through Seoul and Korea? I have not. So they have in the airline, in the airport lounge, they have like the LED, like masks, like they have everything skincare. So whenever I would go there, I would like load up on all the masks and everything. But in the airline lounges, some of them had like a full on, um, I don't know what you call it with the red light, like a full on mask. You could just sit there and do the red light. The panels. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I have yeah, a few so of if you're ever flying through there. <laughs> Really good to know. It's really great if you ever have the opportunity to try one of those because I have a panel that's twenty two hundred dollars that I yeah. have at home, very pricey. So it's great to test it out to see if you like it before you make the investment because red LED really works. It mm -hmm. really works without fine lines and wrinkles. With hyperpigmentation and blue helps with acne, and it's it's a it's clinically proven the red LED. So that's so cool. Now I want to go to Korea. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to fly through there just to try them out. I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trina, thank you so much for all your tips. Um, quick recap, we talked about the face oil on the plane to protect your skin under the mask with the the sheet down here if you have mask, mask me, is that what you call it? Yeah, um, mask me, mask me, yeah. yeah. Sanitizing and keeping your hands clean so that you're touching your face with clean hands whenever you're doing anything. You also want to make sure you're wearing, um, or sorry, uh, keeping yourself hydrated. So she had those three tips. What were those again? Water oh, bottle. Water, lip balm, and, and hand. Yeah, those three. Um, yeah. And making sure you're wearing SPF and then the devices that we just talked about. And then we're going to drop links down below. Um, Trina, where can everybody find you if they want to follow you? Yes, my YouTube channel is called Beauty Beyond 40. And my TikTok and Instagram are just my name, Trina Albus. So that's where you can find me. It's just at Trina Albus. And then YouTube, if you search Beauty Beyond 40, you'll find me. So, and I also have a website, beautybeyond.com, where I list all of the devices that I've tested that I recommend. So it's kind of like a catalog you can scroll through. So you would find both of these devices and also like the skincare I use along with them. And you can click right through and I have all the promo codes because saving money is a big thing for me. And I like to help my audience sh save. So that's my website that goes along with my social. So if you ever see anything on my social that you want to look into more, you can go over to my site and that's really like one stop shopping. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm sure everybody's excited. Um, and if you guys had, you know, like a, a tip that you didn't know about today, drop it below and Tell us how you were surprised or maybe learned something new. Or if you have a tip of your own, feel free to share that and how you travel below. Um, as I said, we'll drop the links, the discount codes down below. Um, and next week, Aida is going to be talking about five romantic places we love in Paris because it's love month starting in February. Um, she actually lived in France, studied in culinary school there and has French family. So she is definitely a French insider. So you guys can join live for that. Um, and yeah, thanks again, Trina. Any, any last words of wisdom, feel free to leave them. I just thank you so much for having me. And I look forward to learning any additional tips that everybody else has to share. So thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. See y'all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.